Hello everyone. Regine and Armand has been all over YouTube lately and doing well for themselves. However, you know, once you start rising, the hate start rising as well. You know what they say, haters are your confirmation that you're doing something right. Basically, when there is hate, you know you made it. Well, DJ Academics has been talking about Regine and Armand. He didn't say too much, but he said enough. Let's get into this video. I remember Lil Wayne's daughter, Lil Wayne daughter. My bad, I forgot her name. Regine. Regine loved hood niggas. She loved Wife and Lucci. That was her nigga. That was her nigga, bro. She loved the hood nigga. He had thug life tied across his chest. I think even Wayne got thug life tied across his chest. She loved that nigga showing up to all type of BT celebrity basketball games. She loved that nigga, bro. I probably be punished for hard living. Blind to the facts. Thugs is... You know these bitches, like, let me not call bitch. Like, uh, you know these chicks be like, yo, they love hood. Now, DJ, you know not to call Regine a B. I feel like he didn't mean to say it, but it just slipped out. You don't want Wayne, Lucci, and Armand to send somebody at you. These days, we have to choose our words correctly or carefully because words have power. And if you say the wrong thing, people can and will say something or do something about it. Of course they love a hood nigga. To that nigga facing 25 to life. The fuck? Nigga. Everything was all good with him until she realized that nigga caught a Rico. She seen that murder, that murder charge on this shit. Nigga, I've never seen a chick quickly. Regine, some nigga named Armand. I don't even know who this nigga is. Honestly, I don't think nobody will wait 25 years for someone. You gotta be like a really loyal person. And who knows, Lucci probably told her to move on. Yeah, she even downgraded. Like, she even just got some random nigga. Nigga, she don't like thugs no more. She like nigga. She got with a nigga. No disrespect to him. Don't try to fight me, bro. Like, I'm not like that. It's cool. She got with a nigga who looked more feminine than her. Like, you feel me? Yo, nigga, she got with a nigga who, like, the opposite of gangster. Like, nigga, she got with a nigga who she could do guessing games, book, uh, not book, uh, muck bangs and all that shit with, bro. Uh -huh. You see, when she was with Waf and Lucy, she was loving the thug shit. On there. Look. Oh. Oh. Bro, she got with a nigga they've been doing question and answers for the last three months. I don't even know what they do. All they do is, hey, here we are, guys. Another q and I'm like, what the fuck do y'all do? Like, that's it. Either that or it's like mukbangs. Let, let's look it up. Regine mukbang. You know, yo, first of all, the only bang pause that motherfucking wife and Lucci was doing was gangbanging, nigga. He wasn't doing no mukbangs. He was gangbanging, nigga. He was in the streets. She was loving that shit when she was. Well, it's kind of like what he's doing, just sitting down to talk and get paid. Just easy money. And their audience is loving it. So by your net worth being eight million and y'all have similar jobs, you should know he's worth something. Now that nigga in jail, he might not never come home. This is what she doing, the mukbangs. Let's dig in. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Okay. Let's dig in. <laughs> Put on your bib. Let's go, guys. Let's get the crab legs. This nigga Lucci fighting for his life behind bars. Thug sending a million niggas to try to kill him. He's over here trying to, like, you know, wrap his arms with toilet papers and, like, and, and fucking um, uh, um, bed sheets to try to not get cut and stabbed up. His girl is out here like, okay, Let's let's enjoy the fucking crab legs. I am not regular, they're not a tough slut. I'm with a bad ate her like an edible. I'm in the V. I'm sure Lucy probably got multiple women putting money on his books and stuff. Cause you know people in jail, they gonna keep on multiple women. No more free wife fan from her. Fuck that. It's over. She gotta keep she gotta continue her clout in her life. She, two fuck she don't get. Oh. I guarantee this nigga don't claim a fucking gang in the fucking world. Is that my look? Landscapers, I might have to go check them niggas. Them niggas is aggressive today. Look, see? Let me tell you this, man. And by the way, salute to her. She's just not the girl that gonna be doing the, you have a collect call from the Fulton County Jail. She not gonna do that, bro. Like, she wanna live her life. Like, she only date y'all niggas for clout. She's Lil Wayne's daughter. Fuck y'all niggas. If y'all gonna go to jail, or whatever. every girl like a thug until a thug really facing 25 to life, bro. Them phone calls will only go for a little bit of time. Then she got to get back to getting lit, nigga. I mean, she's only 23, so of course she's going to live her life. I guarantee, look at Wife and Lucy. I, I, I want to look. Wife and Lucy, Regine. Nigga, they was out here. 
Ain't no fucking muck bangs going on. This nigga, this was thug love, nigga. Thug love. Fuck all that shit. Muck bangs and shit. Thug love. Okay. Salute to my nigga Lucci, man. I ain't even trying to play the whole thing. By the way, Reggie, I don't think you're wrong at all. Like, yo, you Lil Wayne's daughter, you hip hop royalty. You can date whoever you want. Feel me? All I'm just saying is, like, y'all females got to keep it real, too. Like, yo, y'all got to tell these gangster niggas y'all dating. If you ever get locked up or you catch a Rico, like, I'm definitely leaving you. Like, you just got to tell them that. Yo, you catch a Rico, it's over, brother. Like, you catch a Rico, like, definitely not about to keep listening to you, bitch, about your lawyers can't get you bail. Like, it's over. You know what I mean? <laughs> yo, yo, a chick would be like, yo, they love hood niggas. Where'd you meet the hood nigga at? In the hood? Nah, at the Fendi store. Well, there you have it. He said salute to Regina and Lucci. In addition, he said no disrespect to our man. So I get it. He's just trying to find a good topic to talk about. And right now, they are one of the hottest couples on YouTube to talk about. On to the next topic. Um, Regina's mom, she got a hold of this video. And this is what she had to say about it. At academics, I can't stand men that do BS. Keep my daughter name out your mouth. Clout chasing is at an all-time high. Let her live her 23-year-old life. Worry about you and yours. Thanks. She also had this to say. I hate when I let people take me out of my character. But one thing about it, I don't play about my kids. At academics, stop playing with my child. You too grown to be worrying about what a 23-year-old doing. Calling her a B and all that other S is not cool. You men are worse than females. This S is getting out of hand. Most moms do not play about their kid. I would have to agree with Toya. There was no reason for him to call her a B at all. Even though girls call each other that, it's still not right for a man to call a woman that. On the flip side, Trey got a hold of the video and he is taking up for Armand. Let's take a look at what he said. Like, shut up. And then you talking about a whole female on the internet all oh, going back like, nigga, shut up. These motherfuckers don't even fuck with you. Then you running your motherfucking mouth, but your ass was running on that damn podcast running talking about she got a gun she got a gun like shut your scary ass up like you really lame as fuck and then the, the, how did she downgrade my brother got a bag too that nigga money long that nigga money been long our money been fucking long since we was motherfucking t been taking care of our mama our fan like sh like bro i ain't even gonna get into all that bullshit but just she ain't downgrade shit they building each other they working together they both making money like you just need to mind your fucking business and worry about your and I'm going to go and let y'all motherfuckers know, nah, yeah, my brother on YouTube and doing what he doing with his girl, whatever, he respectful, you know what I'm saying, he he show love to her, you know, he compliment all these other, bro, but that nigga he got a whole nother side while y'all running y'all motherfuckers, y'all letting this shit fool y'all, like, yeah, that's that nigga, that's, that's the, you know, that's the good, or mom, but that nigga got a whole nother side, so y'all just got to watch y'all motherfucking mouth, bro, like, for real, why y'all Oh, he's feminine. Oh, he's she's. We have seen our my other side like two times, but that's it. It seems like whenever he is passionate about something, he will act out. The first one we're going to look at is the prank where Essie did. It was called um, "You Are Not the Father" or something like that. Think maybe. What are you saying? Say it again, so I know I'm not tripping. That I met a guy named Finn. That's it. Babe, sit down, we gotta talk. Yo, stop calling me babe, you weirdo. Why are you calling me a weirdo? You know all this. Babe, I told you not to throw stuff at me. I'm pregnant. Here. Why are you throwing our pregnancy? Get all this shit out of my house! <laughs> Get all this shit out of my house, bro. Like, let's go. Come on, no, let's I'm go. Not leaving. Come on, let's go. But I'm not leaving. Man, you got me fucked up. You know that? Do you know that, though? Do you know that? We don't even know if it's true. Do you know that, though? I just told you Wait, I do think. you know that, though? No, do you know that? No, yes, you I do. Told you I think. Where are you going? Hey, me too. No. Come on, bro. Let me get her shit out of here. Uh, no. You're not touching my stuff. No. Yo, come on. Get her stuff, bro. Me too. Leave my slippers. I know you like them, but no. And you too, stop, leave my stuff right there. Yo, bro, right stop touching, yo, then bro, leave tell my stuff stop right touching, there. bro. 
No. Tell her stop touching me, bro. Leave my stuff right there. Tell her stop touching me, bro. You getting out of my house, bro. You don't make me over here. Get out of here. Come on, let's go. Let's go, bro. She got me fucked I'm up. I'm not leaving. Guess what she just sat here and said to me, bro? What? Talking about. Why are you telling me like, Because you got me fucked up. You know that? You got me fucked up. No, you, you got me fucked up. Business. I told you maybe his Now, I'm not trying name. to hear that. Maybe. I'm not trying to hear that, my nigga. You can ask girls about him. What the? Now, she'll get my sister come here and beat you up, but I ain't even going to do that. You got that baby in your stomach. She probably knows about him too, babe. on your neck, babe. Yo, like, And you what? know what's crazy? I Look at the camera. And I told them earlier, once I feel like he's about to have a heart attack, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell them the truth. Yo, this is nuts. Babe, you got me breathing hard and stuff. I can't, no. That's it. Armand was so mad. Now, the other time I have seen him mad was recently. It was the prank when Jazz said Regine wasn't the one. Let's look at this clip. You know then you can, you, you can bro. lean your chair up, bro. You look stupid as fuck. You look dumb as hell trying to lean your seat back. <laughs> nigga, I you feel kicking good because I'm telling my nigga some real nigga shit. Hell. And if Man, you don't want to sit here and don't want to take my advice, bro, I'm trying to tell you that a shorty's not for you. I'm not taking no advice from your big head you ass, bro. Go do your own thing, bro. Now you pissing me off because I'm trying to I'm tell you look, I don't give a fuck I about what you're like saying, bro. I you should find you like a little bit from the UK or something. Like, try something that's like completely out your comfort zone, bro. Like, stay out of Atlanta with it, bro. Like, it, bro, you got. I feel like you should try beyond. something outside of your comfort zone, and that's shutting the fuck up because you obviously don't know how, motherfucker. Hey, bro. All I'm trying to tell you, bro, is I see this shit, Only, bro. She not for you, bro. If I'm trying I to tell you, I don't give a fuck what you're saying, you, bro. You I don't give a, a fuck what you're saying. You better girl. What matter type of hating ass shit is you, you on? Matter of fact, I'm gonna find you a little bit right now, bro. Cause she's not gonna find none of your own girls that you got, bro. You can, listen, bro. Let me tell you something. I don't tell you what to tell or, or or how to feel about your girl. Don't tell me how to feel or what to say about my girl. Fuck, nigga. He passed the test. He is faithful. Bro, oh, bro, I want to put you with a new girl because she's not understand. the one for you, bro. You don't even understand. I'm telling you that she's not the one for you, bro. Bro, you don't I even understand. I can sit understand. here and read the book. You read the, the energy, bro. She's not for you. What's the energy? Nigga, the energy is bad. It's negative energy there, bro. It's a whole bunch of like, I get bad vibes and spirits, bro. Like, you know, like I'm very spiritual and I can read the energy in the air. Man, That's you sound dumb as fuck. If whatever type of spirituality reading that you're doing is motherfucking reading you wrong, I don't give a fuck about nothing. What you gonna do? I wanna put them paws on them. I, want I don't care about where that girl is. She look good, she look good with you. Let me call Christian and tell her that you and this motherfucker Bro, no, this is not like about girl. me, bro. This is about finding a better looking girl and a better shorty for you, bro. So, no, you know what I'm saying? No, it's no better looking for me. Bro, I'm There's trying no to tell you, shorty she's for me. not for you, bro. She's Just for me. Just listen to me. No. Got a girl, but she ain't nothing like I don't give a fuck about that bitch, bro. Bro, what? Bro, I'm trying to I don't give a fuck right about now, I'm bro. sorry, matter of fact. Let, let me watch my mouth, bro, because you're taking me to a person that I'm just really not trying to be no more, bro. Bro, I'm trying to I don't to give a fuck about who the fuck that you, is, bro. I don't want to see him. I don't look. I don't care. So I Everything can't find you I a better match. And see, it's in front of me, motherfucker. That's the same way you need to be. Look in front of you, motherfucker. That's your problem. You want to look to the right, look to the left. Shut the fuck up and look in front of you. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. I'm look I got my I got my baby, I got my other baby, I got my career, I got my my, 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 my people, my family, I got my career. I don't give a fuck about what the fuck you talking about in this car, bro. I'm good, my nigga. I am good, my nigga. Are you sure you good? I'm bro? good, my nigga. You sure? I'm good, my nigga. I'm straight, my nigga. I'm good. Do you hear me? Spell it with me, bro. G O O D, my nigga. I'm good. Okay. Let me show you one more little baddie, bro. Just one more, bro. I bro, you know you a fake is. individual, bro. And I'm starting to see that, bro. You fake, bro. Hold on, bro. I got one you more fake, little baddie bro. for you. Look, look, look. It's a, it's a prank. <laughs> you is a straight, weird ass nigga, bro. I must say that was a good prank. From that video alone, I could tell that he was in love with Regine. Now that we have seen that, let's get back to this video with Trey. It's running your mouth. I wait till a nigga punch you in your shit. Y'all lame ass up. For real, y'all.
that was the end of the video i hope all is well what do you think about all of this drama leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments i feel like if you are in the public people are going to talk about you whether it's good or bad for that reason you have to be careful what you show to the world thanks for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you want to see more videos until next time bye bye